Welcome back to On the Branch, where I carry this fucking Let's Play. John, we're, we're not we're not hiding the fucking bullshit, just so you know. We're not hiding what bullshit? Uh, the fact that we had to re-record this like three times. Oh yeah, this is the third time we're, we're recording this, because the first time Amerith got up and left her microphone off when she got back. Cause was... Because I had to go bring Jamie something for going and getting the, the switch for us. Yeah. And then the second time we recorded this, just the video screwed up the exact same way that uh, Cave Stories did. You, and so, uh, yeah, feel, that was fun. Feel free to insert, like, two seconds of video in or don't. Probably okay. To, like, show out. off what's been going on with our capture. Uh, speaking of which, okay, I think we're good. I, I had to look over and just double check and make sure, yes, that looks normal. Because... Our God damn it, Knuckles, you <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> okay. So, God damn so, it. So I oh, well, is that door? Nope, it's not open. I told this story the first time we recorded this. Uh, I went and got one of my favorite comfort foods, Chicken McNuggets. Fuck. Uh, against your... Uh, against your... Request. Better, yeah, you, against your better judgment. Not against my better judgment. My judgment was horrible. Fuck your judgment. <laughs> Because I, I just like Chicken McNuggets, and sometimes I so want to hate myself. So nasty. Yeah, they're not that bad. They're all white meat, I right? only get that they're food when I... Uh, I mean, I'm sure there's some soy in there, but soy's not bad for you. Uh, is, wasn't there a thing that it was like 30-something percent soy or something? No, that or? was... That was uh, um, Serbway? That was Subway in Canada. It was like more soy than chicken. Mmm. Yeah. Soy chicken. Yeah, which you need some soy if you want it to like last forever and have the texture that they want it, and you know, like. Meat well, you know, because John, we, but, we, but we some is a few percent, not the majority. We we have to preserve food and make it, you know, last in the in the freezer refrigerator for months at a time. Yeah, exactly. But, because that's how food works. Is let's put as much chemicals and not food into food and call food. it food. Soy is food, though. Sort of. <laughs> so anyway, to spite you, I also got one of those pink goose strawberry shakes that I oh so love from my childhood. I fucking hate and them. And I hate myself after drinking them once, but like I'll have maybe one a year just for nostalgia's sake. It's sort of like Sunny D that we've talked about before on other games. Dark Souls? Yeah. Because... Yeah. Dark Souls was brought to you by Sunny D, and apparently so is this. We section. we wish it was brought Are, to you by Sunny is, D. Is Knuckles uh, swimming in Sunny D right now? No, we're swimming in just straight up old fashioned <laughs> OJ. Or is this actually? It's kind of got a green tint. It might be Mountain Dew. No, this is more like. Oh yeah, it's pulpy. It, it probably is OJ. The, brought to you not really by Simply Orange. All right, so have you've had time to think about it now? But I'm sure you haven't. Do you have a comfort nostalgia food from your childhood? I mean, I I remember I had thought about one and came up with one, and then I forgot it in the intermittent time. Good job. I, I know, fucking just nailing it hardcore. <laughs> um, no, there, it was it was something. And it, oh, it was fucking box ass shit craft mac and cheese. Oh yeah, I hated craft mac and cheese as a kid. As a kid. Why? Um. Because I can only enjoy it hot, and it was never hot by the time I got to it. Because your parents just, like, didn't... Because we like, eat all at once, and it'd be, like, served when I was a little, little kid. Oh, and it was by one the of time those... I was older, we just didn't eat it. Like, it just wasn't in the house, because none of us liked it. And we didn't realize it was probably because we were eating it cold when we were way younger. Yeah, by the way, that went a lot smoother than the first fucking time we did that, just as a by the way. <laughs> Well, the second time you did it was even smoother than this. Yeah, well, I mean, just just that part with the guy in general. The guy, the dude. The the one that was floating there and behind the locked door. The babe with the power. The which babe? The babe with the power. What power? Power of voodoo. Voodoo? Yeah. Okay, that's not our bit. We have uh, to stop now. Yeah. We're we're legally obligated something something dark side. <laughs> Can't, the, can't yeah, the make words jokes. of the song are copyrighted, but I, not that I think we would get uh, on, constant on, ID or copyright on, claim. For, only, only if you're in the rhythm of the night, uh, the, 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 the morning light, and take me to the candy shop. I, I we're just naming you mean, songs. You mean, at this point. you mean you mean take me to the focus stop? This is what we yeah, that's what we do now. <laughs> hey, we we went that to that is place. that is one of our things. We went to focus stops recently. We went to like another town. Yeah, we, forty we, minutes away. For, like, this special attraction, which is 
10 poke stops in a row on a line on a quarter mile strip. That wasn't and, there anymore. And it was gone. Yeah, it had been removed. Like months ago. And Apparently, no one told us. Just, yeah, we just didn't know. Guess you didn't know. And get busy, child. What? Get what? Yeah, what's going on? Um, 19 minutes, 50 seconds. That's that's until the we're all fucked. Oh. Oh, what's this? Look it's, at him. He's being so edgy. It's it's a it's another hedgehog. Uh, In gosh. retrospect, this isn't as funny because they know that we've already seen this at least once. Uh, oh, oh gosh, it sure would be a shame if I cheated on my boyfriend Sonic with a oh, black guy. Hey, <laughs> hey, oh, the other hedgehog. Yeah, is he? Is, is he black because he's not allowed in the Mormon church? Oh God. Yeah. No, wait. I thought the Mormons changed their mind about black people. Yeah, in 1978 when, uh, uh, who was it? Who was the president? Um, um, the president of the church guy. or? Peanut farmer. Peanut farmer guy. Um, no, 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 the president of the United States. Carter. Carter oh. threatened the president of the Mormon church to take away the tax you, you said, status. You, you said peanut guy and I immediately thought Mr. Peanut from the, the nut commercials. No, 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 no. Sorry. Sorry. Jimmy Carter threatened to revoke their tax exempt status. If they didn't allow black people into the priesthood. And suddenly that night, the president of the Mormon church had a revelation that that the mark of Cain no longer applied. Which, the mark of Cain is like the, the argument that black people are black because they're the descendants of of Cain who killed Abel in the Bible. And so they like bear his extra sin. Which is like extra retarded for multiple reasons. But a lot of uh, evangelical Christians believe that. Uh, yeah, like it's so, retarded because they were all wiped out by the Israelites in the Bible, like all the so, Canaanites. So, John. And they never existed. We know that from, like, history and archaeology. You, you have to remember, for for me being raised Catholic, I don't remember half this shit because... <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm like, who the fuck are the Canaanites? Uh, they were the people that the Jews, like, went back to Israel to, like, conquer. Like, when they went back, like... In, I don't remember Exodus, the I don't remember the after, Jews conquering anything after they left Egypt. This is all stuff that never actually happened. But in the Bible, According they the Bible. completely wiped out this entire region of the Middle East. Or, and, or it did actually happen because over. because you never know. No, 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 we know it didn't happen. Like as in scientifically, we have the. Evidence. But John, they wrote it in the book. Okay, Clearly, it that's happened. True. That's evidence right there. Someone wrote it down. Someone wrote it down. Therefore, we, it happened. We have to just like Harry we Potter. Have to, we have to believe everything on fanfiction.net. <laughs> yeah, Harry Potter is real because someone wrote it down. And it's in a published book. A lot of people bought it and read it. I mean, I'm sure there is some AU out there <laughs> of fucking the real world well, where you know, Harry Mormon, Potter actually happened. The Book of Mormon is the is the fanfic of the, the New Testament. <laughs> so, right? So, so 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 what you're saying, John, is we need to go to fanfic.net tonight and post the the Book of Mormon yeah. in its entirety. <laughs> well, because the Quran is the, the the end of the trilogy, right? You have the Old Testament, New Testament, and Quran. So the Book of Mormon is like fanfic that opens up the possibility for more fan. What the hell is this? I thought uh, the ultimate life form was an octopus with eight handguns. No, and it, it's, it's a lizard. It's just a big giant lizard. By the way, shadows there. Oh, he's so cool! Did you see that walk? And the and the rocket skates. The rocket skates. Clearly, he's hip. <laughs> I'm that. totally not gonna fuck up this look, boss fight. Like the only animations they did well were on the hedgehogs in this game. Yeah, the humans are pretty lame, and everything else is pretty lame. Oh, the other thing that they spent a lot of time on was Rouge's boobs. Rouge's they, boobs. They, yeah. they spent a lot like, of time they on just those. Just spent physics. a lot of time on Rouge in general. Just the bio lizard. It has to tell us the, really the, slowly. The, the prototype of the ultimate life form. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, not gonna lie. First couple times we did this boss, uh, I may or may not have lost at least fifteen lives. Well, no. The second time you did it first try, when we tried to record this. John, last I'm time. trying to make it sound a little bit more. Um, Don't impressive. worry. You're gonna screw up, and it's gonna take ten tries. Like that. Yeah. Don't, I'm, don't... I'm gonna press completely the wrong button. Yeah, well, you've been playing a lot of Breath of the Wild. Ram. Haven't we all? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have to point out the Jaguar scream. That ram. No, it's not a ram. It's a ram. <laughs> yeah, it's, sure. it's like It's like Super Mario World. It's the ram. <laughs> the, it's just a it's the ridiculous stock effects that exist in this game. Or Wilhelm stock sounds. scream and no, no, it wasn't the Wilhelm scream. It was the other scream. Wilhelm scream is a ah. Uh, that that one guy. Oh god, no. Uh. The guy named Wilhelm. I don't know what his na actual name is. Probably Wilhelm. I doubt it. Ow. Things aren't usually that obvious. Wilhelm's um, probably like the director. Ow. 
Also, is he gonna shoot more of his balls from yeah. his mouth at your face? Also, um, it's not just Breath of Breath of the Wild. Jet Set Radio, yeah. That has been fucking me up on this on the controls of this. Mm-hmm. I had been playing Bloodborne a lot recently, so oh yeah, and streaming it, played, which also ruins your ability to play Breath of the Wild because all the dodging and parrying and attacking controls are all different. Yeah, and then you know timing is different and. Trying to hit buttons that aren't there, which I'm doing now. It's like I'm trying to rotate the fucking camera, and I with can't. With an analog button that with, doesn't with an, exist. Yeah, it's it's mostly because that. somebody at, at uh, somebody at Sega said we only need one analog button, despite the fact that every modern console now has two. I well, guess, oh, I guess only the PlayStation One had two analog correct. buttons. Correct. Right? The DualShock was the first dual analog, like main console, and that's why it was called the DualShock. Yeah. Because there, there were, like, third parties and stuff that had dual analogs, but none of the I mean, major console manufacturers well, had N64, that N64, no, because it wasn't until analog. GameCube that it had two. Yep. D- damn it! And you died. I fucking was waiting for that shit. <laughs> God fucking That's okay, hell. we gotta pad the episode. Oh yeah, because, you know... Yeah. Fucking forbid if we do this in under the amount of time that we did it originally. Yeah, absolutely. You're gonna keep doing this for another 30 minutes like the first time we tried this. Yeah. This game just keeps bringing us back. Yeah. It's it's the it's the game that just keeps on giving. <laughs> and by giving, I mean it's trying to take you out of a job. <laughs> trying to take me out of a trying job? Trying to keep that's, you out of a job. It's only done that twice. Yeah, hey, that's... I don't, I don't want to be working until we get back from Japan, which still hasn't happened. Once we're, again, we're not in Japan talking yet. about Japan. Yep, I have to bring it up every it's time you... God fucking forward. damn it! I want to make you totally jelly. I want to make you jelly like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Which John. You John. John. Yeah. John. Yeah. Can you stuff me in your suitcase so I can go to Japan with you? Uh, you would be over the weight limit by a considerable amount. I don't think they'd notice. And you wouldn't fit. I don't think they'd notice. <laughs> they wouldn't notice. You'd be like, huh? This thing is heavy. I'll just like when when they when they do something like that, I'll just like slip a slip slip some chicken tenders outside of the fucking. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that works. Just just bribe so, them with so food. You- Oh god, that was fucking close. Do you think this guy has a second brain in his tail? Like a like a brachiosaurus? I don't know, John. What leads that very unassuming question just out of nowhere? Because he looks like a brachiosaurus. And, and I don't know anything about brachiosaurus. Yes, we haven't had this. Shut up! Pretend this is the first time. <laughs> Magic of the moment. Let me please, just. Please pretend this is like a show we do for an audience. And instead of just like fucking up the whole bit because I'm trying to be entertaining, will you do the but, same but, goddamn thing over and over? What did I say about me carrying this Let's Play marathon? Um, that I am totally derailing you and fucking you up, and it's way you're, more entertaining than what you were originally planning. You're derailing me while grinding on a rail. Okay, so so you I'm gonna pretend it. I haven't already told you, but certain dinosaurs had a second like subbrain that was a giant cluster of nerves that helped control their reflexes. So it's some of the biggest dinosaurs. And uh, that, it's kind of weird to me because it's, because we do that, but like our just bodies do it intentionally. I don't know if something evolved in the meantime or we evolved differently. Uh, I would love to talk to a, a anthropologist. Gosh, what kind of biologist would even know about this? Like some very specific biologist would, would have to answer this question. So if you are that specific kind of like dinosaur biologist, please like, comment, and subscribe. Or if you Mostly just really comment. like dinosaurs, give us your opinion. Yeah. Send us or, your fan fix. Or if you really like dinosaurs. But yes, I, I kind of wonder because because we a, a lot of the processing, you know, data processing, so to speak, that happens in the body happens in your extremities that actually you know and near the muscles that actually do the work. When you tell your arm to move. Your brain is basically telling your arm to move, and your arm is figuring, figuring out how to move on its own. Your your brain isn't like sending like individual signals to each muscle with the slightest, you know, contract and, and relax commands. It's it's like a much more, we'll say, organic process. Uh, ah, you know, you know, thing, shit like that always mess with me. Thinking about like really, really deep shit. About just how really intricate things work like that. Like, how thinking about just how your muscles move without you really thinking about it, you know? Like, this is the kind of shit that you would think about high. Like, yeah, but we're not high. I know. Yeah. And but we're, prob- we're probably not, never going to record high as much as I keep, like, advocating for it. No, because it's not going to be funny. Yeah, well, I mean, you guys wanted to record drunk, and that's never funny. Look at Game Grumps. Bam! Zinger! 
Steam uh, Train called out. You mean you mean Stout Train? Yeah. You only got like a million more subscribers than us, but I'm gonna slam you. Only a million? Try like three, three point three point five million. Oh, they have three point five million subscribers. Uh, I need a ring. Yeah, you need ring. a ring. Give me a ring. I need a ring too. I lost my wedding. I ring. God fucking. You died. Yeah, I lost my wedding ring. So Jamie says we're gonna buy a new one in Japan. Mm. Or we'll just buy another one from Hong Kong for twenty five bucks when we get back. I was, I was gonna say is like we we attach no sentimental value to our wedding rings. We we knew when we got them we were going to lose them or damage them. So we because said, that's like, what happens. Out, we said outright they are cheap tokens. It's a symbol, and it's not a symbol we're gonna get too attached to on the individual level. When you work in retail service. And engineering, yeah. shit's gonna get broken and lost. So yeah, right. We work in places develop? where we can't even wear them anyway. So well, you're supposed to be allowed to, but it's encouraged to uh, not. For safety reasons, I I mean, I guess I could slip mine off and put it in my pocket, but then it's definitely gonna get lost because so, it's in your pocket. Yeah, yeah, because I'm like crawling through an attic doing electrical work or something. So yeah, it's just better in my field to just not wear your wedding ring. Just don't even take it to work or leave it in your locker. But I'll lose it if I leave it in my locker, so I just don't take it to work. Because you'll just leave it in your locker. All right, well, uh, Ow. I'm going to give you one more chance. And if you, no. can, if you can't beat him this time, we will come back when you when you. I, I'd say we just come back tomorrow. It'd be a lot easier. Oh, okay, then. Um, when we come back tomorrow, uh, this We'll be will almost be beat. beating him. Yeah, we'll, you'll, you'll hear the one last uh, Jaguar growl. Yep, see you, see you tomorrow.